recently uh, John posted some results and I, I really was intrigued by them because here's what was intriguing about those results was that he was had a new Shopify store and it was already generating around $35,000 in sales inside of its first two weeks. And what was cool about this was it was like his first Shopify store. So he was new at this, just like many of you that are watching right now. He was somebody who was new, somebody who was just taking instructions, somebody who was learning, somebody who was, you know, <clears throat> taking action with what he was learning and just going out there and doing it. And not everything was perfect. In fact, John even told me that he had to pause some ads and make some changes because, you know, it's a it's still a learning process. But thirty-five thousand dollars in two weeks is very, very impressive, even having as much as $5,000 in sales in a single day. Um, and I don't want to say that that's that typical results because the results are going to vary for everybody. So I don't want to say that it's typical, but I do want to say that um, it is something that anybody can achieve. If you put your mind to it, it's possible. So whether or not you, you, you're just amazed by these results that are shared or whether or not you believe, whether you have higher goals or whatever it is, just remember it's possible. And John's an example of that. So I wanted to bring John out here on this. Um, on this hangout and just be able to share some of his story and be able to share a little bit about introducing himself to the community, who he is and how he got started and what's working with him. And what I'll do is I'll be monitoring questions in the background. So if you're part of Team Shopify, there is a, um, a webinar channel that's in the Slack group. So if you're watching right now live, there's a webinar channel in the Slack group that you'll be able to watch. And if you are part of my Facebook uh, inner circle, then you can chat there. There'll be a thread there. So what I'll do is I'll be monitoring questions in both those places. So with all that being said, I want to um, turn it over to my guest speaker, who is John Alfredson. So John, come on out here, introduce yourself, and uh, let the community know a little bit about who you are and the success you've been having with Shopify. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for that uh, introduction. It's very, very, uh, I appreciate very much that you want to have me on here on the webinar. And um, yeah, I'm John Alfredson. And, uh, I have not had any experience with Shopify before. I have been doing a lot of online marketing, different types of online marketing over the last uh, seven years since I started, or both network marketing, uh, affiliate marketing, and uh, other, uh, well, I've, tr I've done a bit of Facebook marketing as well, but I've never ever tried uh, Shopify or selling e-com, selling, selling products, physical products. And uh, I haven't seen, uh, I have seen, some have some good have had some good results with previous I mean projects and, and marketing but I've never seen anything like this that uh, it kind of when it comes to results that I've seen over the last two weeks um, my background is I'm from Sweden uh, originally I moved to California in five years ago and uh, I've been working from home since uh, yeah since 2008 I have a background in, in engineering a PhD in engineering but uh, I didn't want to pursue that career, and, but I, I wanted more freedom for myself, so I decided to work online instead. And it's been a, a lot of ups and downs, but definitely now I think this is uh, something that is really suiting me, the, the Shopify thing. So, um, what do you? What, uh, I'm, I just want I want to share some some um, tips and strategies, and also show some results on my. Um, on my uh, power in a PowerPoint presentation that I have, so I'm going to switch over to that. And feel free to ask me questions, Chris. Uh, any questions you might have and that might come up. So let's see. Yeah, you're you're good to go. Just just rock it out and uh, you know just share share a little bit about what you've been doing and share a little bit about your story and just continue. You're on a good pace. Thank you. All right, let me know when you can see my screen, Chris. Yes, I can see it. OK, so it's a, so the Shopify. So basically, I started started my Shopify store two weeks ago since, uh, yeah, I joined the Ecom Master's course. And that was because of Chris and uh, his marketing. He I knew he was he had some good good bonuses and things like that when he came when the course came out. So I decided to jump on his and by the yeah jump on team shopify uh because i knew it was really good and i have really had a lot of um use of the tools that that we got for the the shopify app and the ASON and now the as inspector for amazon and uh yeah so i i was really happy that he 
after that. So that's why I decided to jump on this. I have been wanting to sell, do something, sell on Amazon or, or have my income store for quite a while, but I have never taken the step because I thought that I would need either a lot of inventory or a lot of money for to pay for ads to, to get started. And actually, you don't need any of those two. You need a little bit of money to start your ads, but that's about it. And you need to know how to set up your store, as you know. So, um, so when I started, before I started my store, I started to do some research, and um, uh, of course, what products I wanted to sell. And uh, I just wanted to give you some tips on, on the uh, uh, some some things that I use when I did the research for niches and and products. So uh, I got one tip from Chris uh, when he when he promoted the course. I think it was it was go to Google and type in site colon myshopify.com and then the keyword that I want to search for for similar products to see what's selling and see what what other people are selling in the niche. That was a really good good tip and a good strategy that I used to find a lot of interesting products and a lot of interesting Shopify stores. And then when I found the Shopify stores, I was all I was always going into the store and look for what's selling best. So sometimes you can go and look at all the products and you click on like you can sort them by from A to B, from from A to Z, or or you can sort them from most popular and so on. So and I I sorted them by best selling products. So then I could see what was selling best. I didn't know, of course, how many they were selling, but I, at least I got a an idea of what was selling best in their store. And you can do that with any Shopify store. When you go to the products page uh, or the collections page, if you type in this question mark uh, that you see on the screen here, question mark sort by equals best selling. So if you type in that, you will, even if they have removed the option to for the drop down option for to select a sorting, you can t usually add it manually to your URL in, in your browser, and it will sort the products from what's selling best. Another thing I did was I went into Facebook and I searched for, I typed in in the search field up in the top of Facebook, I typed, typed in posts about, and then my keyword to find different posts about that particular product that I wanted to do research, research about. So with that, I found a lot of different products that that uh, were looked interesting and uh, also one thing i looked at when uh, when uh, i looked for good products is what how were other how were the other products how much attention how much uh, social sharing uh, had the products got on facebook for example when i found a product that was that was posted on facebook and that someone were promoting i looked at it had it did it have a lot of shares did it have a lot of likes and, and comments and so if it had then I knew it was quite a popular product or quite a popular niche at least so that's how I started to select my products and uh, yeah uh, then I opened my store I, I, I chose some products like I started adding 10 or 20 products to my store uh, between 20, and I'm not sure exactly. I have around 20 products right now, but uh, I started adding at least 10. I think it was before I opened, and I started running ads to those products. And uh, I didn't, I didn't have a lot of money to spend on advertising either. So I, I only started out with an ad budget of forty dollars. Basically, I had I have been doing Facebook ads before, but. I started out with spending forty dollars the first day on my ads, and that's out of pocket. And from that, I just took the money that that I made in profit from that and turned it back into into advertise pay for to pay for my advertising costs with Facebook. So I haven't spent any money out of my pocket basically after that. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that too. But uh, another thing I want to go into. Uh, just tell you a little bit about what I my experience with the apps um, that I've been using. I, I want to give three recommendations for apps that that I think you should get in your store that have increased my sales a lot, and that has been the abandonment protector app, which is 
an app that is uh, basically is helping you recover lost uh, or abandoned cards, shopping carts. People are putting items in the shopping cart, and then they're, because they won't go to the checkout page to see how much they're going to pay for shipping, I am promoting free plus shipping offer, by the way. So that's my main main strategy right now. And uh, a lot of people are just want to check out what's, how much the shipping is. So they go to the cart and check, the, check it out, and then they just, just leave the cart there. And then this abandonment protector app will basically help you and send out, an, send out an email to everyone that leaves their cart and say, remind them like 10 minutes or how many minutes after you would like to. They, they will send out reminders and uh, try to recover the carts. Uh, and they, I think it has uh, about a, well, between 5 and 10% and success rate on that to recover the carts. So and, and when you have a lot of carts that are abandoned, that will add up pretty quickly. So it's a paid app. And also, another app is called Hurryfy that I started using actually last, well, the last day on Friday, uh, last week, on my, um, when I, that is a countdown timer. And uh, you can set it to any time you want to count down and just to create scarcity and uh, tell people that you're, something is changing with this uh, promotion uh, when the time is up. So uh, you set a timer, and uh, I, I try that on Friday. I set a timer and said, hey, I'm going to take down this offer now at, at this time because I wanted to do that because I had to, too many sales coming in, which is actually a good problem in some ways, but still a problem. Uh, so I need to pause my ads. I needed to pause my ads. So I, I set a countdown timer to that, and that increased my sales from 5% to over well, almost 7%, well, the conversion, I should say, for that day. The average was 5% conversion before that day, and on that day I had I had a 7% conversion. So that is a good app. It's also $7 a month, I think, to install, <clears throat> but it's very, wor very well worth it when you have something that is selling. And the third app is called Notify that I want to recommend. It's... Uh, something that, um, well, it, it gives you a pop-up, little pop-up window in the bottom left corner that sells, hey, someone just purchased this this product on this site just uh, this long time ago. And uh, that gives social proof that actually that when people are coming to your site, they don't recognize you, they don't know you. So it gives you a little bit more credibility. They see that other people are shopping on this site and purchase the product, maybe the product even that they are interested in. So give them more confidence to go ahead and purchase themselves if they are interested and trust the site. So those are top, my top three app recommendations. I have tried quite a lot of apps uh, to see what's, for, uh, yeah, see what's working well or not. And these are my top three right now that I highly recommend. So these, uh, here, here is the results that Chris sent out this. Uh, screenshot as well in, in his email, but this is what I, I what I issued in my first 12 days. I started on November 23rd, uh, and on that day, I got two sales of a total of 1995 or 1990, two sales for 995 each, and um, from that, I just built it up, and I started to scale up what was working in my with my Facebook ads, and um, I, I used... Uh, one, I've learned some different strategies from other groups, not just from the Ecom uh, course, that Ecom Premier Academy. I've also learned some strategies by watching YouTube videos and joining other Facebook groups about Shopify and so on. And one strategy that I came across, uh, well, recently, right when I started my store, it was, was a strategy called the Pusher Method by a guy named John Mack. I think Chris Record knows who John Mack is. And uh, he's doing really, really well with his Shopify stores. And he was basically showing how how he was scaling his stores or his ads uh, and sales up very quickly to to four figures and five figures a day. So I started to implement some of that, and, and together with my own knowledge from Facebook ads before, I managed to scale up my ads pretty quickly as well. I doubled my sales for every day up until 
day number five, I think it is, or four, yeah. So first day I had a more, a more than double, I should say. First day $20, and then I went up to $100. Second day, $300. Third day, almost $1,000. The fourth day, $2,000 on the fifth day, and then up to $4,000 on the sixth day. So, and on the seventh day, I didn't manage to double. I almost got up to six six k. So, but that that is uh, really crazy growth, and so that might scare some people off as well. But, but I just want to say that you can control this pretty much how uh, you're uh, very you can very much control how many sales you're getting by controlling how much. Uh, you're spending on your ads. So if you just want to stop your sales, you just turn off your ads if you're getting too many sales. So it's not really that you're turning on something that you can't turn off if it's getting out of hand or if it feels like it's getting out of hand, you're getting too many sales. I got as many as 300, over 300 sales per day on average over the, la the last week, uh, well, from Monday to Friday last week. And um, that is a lot of sales. So I actually had after the after Friday, I decided to stop my promotion just to focus on delivering delivering the yeah fulfill the, the products and delivering to my customers because I couldn't keep up with it I even had to hire two people from uh, virtual assistants basically to help me out with the order, order fulfillment and uh, they started working for me last middle of last week and uh, I'm not up have not caught up yet with uh, with all my orders but we are we are getting close now. So it's, uh, I had 2,400 2, orders in 12 days, which is pretty crazy. And uh, it takes approximately three minutes to fulfill an order for a person. So you can do the math on that, but when they're good at it, it takes three minutes when they're in the beginning when they're starting out, it takes longer. So, so that is basically, my stats for the, for the for the 12 days and 40 percent the people added to cart which is pretty high number i think but which means it's i got a really targeted audience with my ad and 23 percent of them reached to check out and out of that five percent purchased so one out of five that reached the checkout actually went ahead and purchased the product so that means that four out of five were abandoned carts that i managed to recover some of them with my follow-up emails uh, so let's go over a little bit. Oh, this is my my day number twelve. The, the on Friday, the sales on Friday. I just you can see I, got, I had three hundred fifty sales and uh, a little bit, just over five thousand dollars in that day alone. And um, if I look at my ad spend, so it's good to have. I mean, five thousand in sales, but you also need to look how many how much expenses you have. So. Uh, in terms of ad spend, I think I spent around $2,400 in my Facebook ads during that day, or maybe $2,200, I don't, don't remember exactly, but so uh, more than more than 100, well, 200% ROI on, on just the, from the Facebook ads cost to the 